I have met Prabhagaran, the great artist, maybe only a few times in my life. Perhaps I knew Ravindran, his brother, much better as a close friend. But I had noticed Prabhagaran as an artist, at least since the mid-1980s and early 1990s, as an artist of sure promise. I also knew about him from his teachers at Baroda, like Gulam Muhammad Sheikh, with whom I have a decades-long friendship, as with several others, like late Sri Puban Khaka. Prabhakaran began with drawings executed with pen and ink on paper, and sometimes with charcoal, and they were strikingly different with their bold lines that would remind one of painters like Souza. These drawings had men, women and children in familiar surroundings, cottages, shops, boats, streets, house compounds, at times vaguely and at times boldly conceived. A series like City Dreams or works like Emigrants, Lovers, The Confessions, La Strada, Leela Wali Leela and many other works, uh, many of which are untitled, done with pen or charcoal are examples of this. Gradually they grow different, as in the painting Fossil of the River, The Great Pr Procession, The Mirror, Mekdut, Old Man and the Sea, or Dola Maro, where the artist forms either become fragmented or maimed, and often the outlines grow sharper and thinner. One may see the indirect influence of diverse artists from Paul Clay to Binod Bihari Mukherjee here, but then all these pictures are by no means imitative but are drawn from the artist's own surroundings. Once we reach a work like the archaeology of tenderness, mostly produced during his student days in Baroda, the revolt against the mainstream art becomes more evident and the treatment becomes more lyrical and he discovers his own narrative vocabulary of life, love and death to create allegories of existence and most importantly colors from mild yellow to yellow ochre, burnt sienna and even blue begin to enliven his canvases. One can see here an artist struggling to invent a language of his own. Many of these are portraits of women often boldly concrete, at times semi-abstract, at times portrayed with men or children. One of the most striking images here is that of a woman flying with white wings, a semi-angelic kind of form. In kaleidoscope, the painting looks like a mural or a miniature series in the typical Indian tradition. Browns grow bolder in many of the later paintings, creating a rather somber mood, while the figures become more varied, the bird seller, waiting men and women, animals. A work like Disaster One is almost iconic, filled with foreboding, with a couple hiding behind a monument, with the unknown spread wide as a space beyond certainty in front of them. In homage to Shoshe Amadu, there is a magical element, black, with animals and weapons of slaughter. In works like Le Mirable, Prabhagaran depicts the destiny of the marginalized, and in some woodcuts and portraits, the lines and figures grow even bolder. This perception grows deeper with works like Windows of the Hanged, Midday Dreams, and quite a few others. 
a subtle surrealist element tukes his realist mode slightly as in uh, a work like gazel or rider on the rain a consistent preoccupation with the subaltern and marginalized uprooted workers ordinary men and women shopkeepers fishmongers old housewives and several the destitute the wounded and the and the shamed and an attempt to turn the weak into strong and the ephemeral into the monumental characterize propagarin's works throughout his career and another thing i as a writer have noticed in his paintings is the intimate connection between art and literature and the very titles of many of his paintings have been borrowed from uh, 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 literary works or maybe novels or maybe the names of uh, uh, fiction writers and poets there is helplessness here no doubt but also resistance there is disbelief but it is colored by a sense of hope in the future there is also a conscious effort to end the alienation of art from the common people to give art back to those to whom it really belongs and who wish to connect with it but are often discouraged by new modes that sometimes cater more to the market by growing more and more decorative prabhagar knew well like picasso did that art was not meant to adorn the walls of the rich but was an instrument of genuine articulation of genuine existence and the resistance implicit in it and ultimately also of emancipation i have no doubt the relevance of his art will only grow with time that seems to be getting unfortunately darker and darker